All right, so let's address the elephant in the room. I do have a different color hair. You know, sometimes things just happen and I just woke up like this. <laughs> but anyways, so yeah, you'll see a couple of videos jumping back and forth from my old hair color to this color, so just FYI. And ignore the planet I got growing on the chin because sometimes, you know, solar systems just like to appear on your face, so. Hi everybody! Alright, so today I'm going to share with you a very awesome makeup item. This is the Ever In Your Favor collection from Geek Chic Cosmetics. It's based off the Hunger Games and it is a huge collection. There are nine different eyeshadows as well as two lipsticks. Um, it all comes very nice in this limited edition tin and all the colors I have to say I've already played with and messed with a little bit are amazing. Um, so I like that it shows you the colors on the back of the tin as well. And then each one of the um, little pots, <laughs> can't think of the word at least, each one of the little pots um, has the Mockingjay um, symbol on it. So it's just really cute. So if you're a fan of makeup and you're a fan of the Hunger Games, this collection is for you. I'm going to go ahead and show you the colors and swatches and tell you my thoughts about it. So let's get into some swatching, shall we? Alright, so I went ahead and swatched them out all on my hand so that way I don't take too much time going back and forth, back and forth, so I could just bam, bam, bam. Um, because Today is the last day of their sale for like their Black Friday, Cyber Monday. So I want to give you guys a nice quick video before I run out of time. <laughs> before the sale ends, you know what I'm saying? Okay. So this first color is this top color here. This is called Girl on Fire. So it'll show you the cute packaging. And as you know, if you ever mess with loose pigments or minerals or things, it's hard to tell what they actually look like on the outside of the jar. So this is Girl on Fire. Girl on Fire is called, it looks like a pale pink, but when it's swatched it looks a lot darker. Girl on Fire is this color right here. So swatched is like a beautiful burgundy purple with some red glow to it. It's really pretty. Next color is Mocking Jay. Mockingjay is a beautiful metallic antiqued gold. Right there. Next color is called Nuts and Volts. If you read the book or watch the movies, you know what that's a reference to. This is a beautiful intense copper sparkle shadow. It has a lot of metallic qualities to it and some sparkle to it as well. Next color is called Ruse Lullaby. Now I admit, I went to go see Hunger Games by myself in the movie theaters and it was the best experience of my life because when Rue has left the world, I bawled my eyes out like a little baby and no one was there to make fun of me. So I just thought I'd give you a little snippet of information. So Rue's Lullaby is a beautiful, warm, honey color. It has lots of shimmer. It almost has like a purple, sparkle, iridescence to it. And it's this color right here. So it's like a warm, golden, antiqued honey gold with some purple sparkles and iridescence to it. It is a very gorgeous color. It's one of my favorites from the collection. Next color is called The Dark Days. This is a very pretty, nice, blackened, darkened pine green. It's very pigmented, very shimmery. It's just a very gorgeous, like, evergreen kind of color with lots of, like, metallic and shimmer. It's very pretty. I love this color. This color in the collection is called Baker's Boy. The color is named after PETA. Um, and this color here is kind of like a really nice icy light gray taupe. It does have a little bit of a pearlescence to it, but it's not like a frosty color. It's a really pretty color, especially if you like taupes. This color is called Victory Tour. This is probably the most unique color. When I was swatching it, I almost was thinking I was accidentally mixing colors or I got some kind of cross-contamination or something because it's a morphing shadow. It flashes back to different colors. It is really one of a kind. So I'm going to read the description from the website because I would have just described it as a peach to taupe to shimmeriness because it's just peach to taupe. It's crazy. 
Um, it's a unique color flipping shadow that morphs from a gorgeous semi-metallic golden peach to a semi-pearl mauve dusty pinky purple. See, they know what they're talking about. They made the color. <laughs> so Victory Tour is very unique. So here it is there. You can see it has a little bit of the dusty mauve color, but then there's some of that icy taupe on there. It's so different. It's this one right here. It just changes every way you look at it, and you can kind of see some of the complex density to it that it has like that purple, icy, mauve taupeness to it inside a metallic peach. It's crazy. Super complex. Never seen a color like that before, and I really like it. But like I said, when I swatched it, I was like, oh no, did I do something wrong because it's changing colors? <laughs> so, yes. Intense, crazy color. It changes colors whatever way you look at it. Sometimes you see the mauve to it, and sometimes you see the metallic peach. It's so cool. <laughs> Next color is called Star-Crossed Lovers. Don't you love these names? <laughs> if you watch The Hunger Games, you know. So anyways, if this is a really nice dark royal purple. It has a lot of red undertones to it, so it's really rich, really pretty, nice royal purple. You can see some of that red metallics to it. It's just a really, really gorgeous color. Last color for the eyeshadows is the Boy with Snares. So this is a beautiful light olive green color. It is really gorgeous. Hard to see in the jar like I said, but on a swatch it's just a really nice golden olive metallic green shade. It's really pretty. Those are all the eyeshadows. As you can see, there's quite a variety of different colors and a lot of different fun color combinations you could come up with. I will say my favorite one is Rue's Lullaby. It's such a beautiful, um, taupey, honey, antique gold with some iridescent glitters and shimmers to it. I really, really like the dark days. It's just a beautiful emerald. I like all these colors. And the Victory Tour is such a unique color. I love them all, but I think those ones are my favorite. I really, really like the Mockingjay, that intense metallic gold. So those are all the eyeshadows, and then there are two lipsticks in the collection. One I have on right now. This is called Nightlock. So their joysticks come in a little tube like this. They name it joysticks because they're super cool and geeky and cute names. Um, so this is the Nightlock. It's just this pretty packaging. It does have a mocking J there, and it does have a twist up top. That's what the color looks like. It's this really deep, intense purple. This is intense, and this does stain, just fair warning. But it leaves behind like a beautiful, bright, magenta, fuchsia stain behind, and it's just a really gorgeous, intense purple lipstick. Last color in the collection is called The Reaping, and this is like a metallic silver lipstick. I'm not quite sure how I'm going to rock it, but I will try my best. This is a sheer smooth silver. It can be built up and look very, like, robot, futuristic. And I'm going to give you a really, like, opaque swatch. So you could see it's, like, straight up metallic silver. <laughs> or you could do, like, a light... Um, dusting is just like more of a sheer silver. I did try this and wear it on my lips and it gives me kind of like a pale lilac color, you know, mixing with my own lips color. Um, so those are the lipsticks that are in this collection. So definitely a little out there. That purple is gorgeous. If you want a silver one, I mean, look no further because hello. <laughs> it's, it's intense. So, it's really cool, you know, really outside, think outside the box colors. Just to show you, I'm going to take a makeup wipe. Do you see that purple? It's not going anywhere. And that's what I said, it leaves like behind this like really pretty bright fuchsia magenta color. And if you really work at it, you can get most of it off, but it's still going to leave behind a stain. So if you like really long lasting staining lipsticks, this is a great one. Once this purple wears off, I will be left with some beautiful bright fuchsia pink lips. Like I just ate like a really bright popsicle or something. So I love this color. Just so you guys know, I love it. So that is the Geek Chic Cosmetics Ever In Your Favors Hunger Game inspired collection. I was lucky enough to receive this and to be able to share it with you guys before it was released so I feel 
very special. So if you are a Hunger Games fan, this is an awesome collection. It's very cool. The fandom is very there. The packaging gets an A+. It's super cute. It's very true to the books and it just makes me feel happy. I love that they have all the colors on the back. All the colors are amazing. The lipsticks are intense. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Definitely go check out Geek Chic Cosmetics. Their eyeshadows, their lipsticks, they're so one of kind, so complex, so unique. You might think you own something like it, but trust me, you don't because their colors are so intense and just unique and crazy. There's so much more that goes into it. Like, like this color here, the Victory Tour. It's not no ordinary peach. It's not no taupe. It's like a mix in between and it like morphs together. It's their colors are just beautiful, one of a kind. You will love them, I promise. I will link my other Geek Chic video down below in the description bar because I did do another video showing what I own from them and swatches and things like that. So if you're interested in that, I'll have it linked down below. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Heart you guys all. Bye, everybody.